Hi everybody. So recently, I was looking for a good wallpaper for my computer screen, but I can't find a good one for free. So I'm going to make one myself. And、uh, the first step to do that is to find a good color scheme. And for me, that means that the colors must be calming, they must be relaxing, and they work in harmony with each other. So as you can see, I have these four colors on the screen right now. And then I've set the lightest color, which is kind of a soft white, as the background. And then after that, I'm finding good brushes to use. So my wallpaper is going to serve as an organizer for my、uh, computer screen. So I want to have boxes that will be the categories, like、um, to sort my folders. <laughs> so I'm trying to find a good brush that will、uh, be used to draw boxes. So this is the first brush I'm testing. As you can see, it's not very even.、Um, it has good texture, but you know, I want an even、um, color spread. You know, that's the second brush. It is very good. I like it. It's even. It's smooth. And then the third one, it's okay, but the edges are kind of blurry. And then the fourth one, no, that's <laughs> that's just not okay. So. I found my brush. I'm going with the second one, and then after that, I will draw the boxes. You know, so I'm going to use the three remaining、uh, colors on my color scheme to draw、uh, boxes, and I'm trying to、uh, draw different sizes to make the composition more interesting. So yeah, you can see I'm drawing.、Uh, Light purple one, and then the brushes that I'm using are watercolor brushes, which means that、um, if I、uh, if I draw over <laughs> over it, it'll make the color darker, which is very useful because I want to also have different shades. So now I'm done with all the boxes. I'm going to add some vines to it to make it look more interesting. So I'm trying the squiggly lines. You know, it's it's not working. I mean, it's not bad, but it doesn't really go with the entire feel of it. So I guess. Let me see if a different color would help. Let's try. Maybe 
let's let's try green instead of yellow. No. <laughs> better when it's lighter anyway we will leave that <laughs> for now and we can move on to something else so another thing that I really wanted in my wallpaper but I can't really find uh, online is cats so yeah I want some fuzzy cute cats in my wallpaper and I'm going to draw them myself. So the first one, uh, it's going to be a dark cat. I have a cat too, and her name is Joy, and she is, she has black fur, so it's kind of like her, you know. <laughs> I'm drawing <laughs> the tail. And then for this one, uh, for the cats, I'm using a um different texture brush, you know, because I want the cats to feel more fuzzy. Drawing the ears, I don't really like those ears. It's okay, I can fix them later. So, second cat, blue. No, they should be lighter. Yes, okay, that's better. So, this cat is going to be napping. Yeah, okay, and then let's get the tail like that. Uh huh. Okay, so right now I'm drawing the silhouettes, right? I'm going to add the details, the outlines later. But you know, let's get the silhouettes first. And then the third cat, and also our last cat. <laughs> you can add more cats yourself if you want. And But this is going to be my last cat on my wallpaper. And then this cat is going to be a light one. And then it's going to be in one of the boxes laying down yes and then that's a very fuzzy tail and I'm adding the ears and we're done with the silhouettes And of course, the next step would be the outlines. So I'm using a very thin brush to do those. And um, as you see, just the very basic outlines to keep the sim sim <laughs> to keep the shapes as simple as possible. Very happy cats, yes. And then because this cat is in front and is the closest to us, it's going to have a little bit more details. So I'm going to give it a pink nose. Nope, not that pink nose. And then huge eyes, whiskers. Very cute. Okay, now the ears. I'm using the pink, pink from the nose to do the ears. I feel like I'm adding way too much details for this one. But you know, let's let's just go with it and let's see if it works. Pink ears. Oh, okay. So that does not blend with the other cats. So let's. Keep the ears simple then. Um, I'm going to fix the ears. It's too big. So erase, erase, erase. Bye. And now new ears. It's a cute cat with cute ears that are small. 
like the other two. Okay, cute ears. Done. Yes, very good. And uh, I'm going to bring some of the fuzziness back in with a spot eraser. It's an eraser. You can see I'm erasing some of the edges. Yeah. Okay, and then the last step would be to add texture. <laughs> so we're going back to the vines. It's okay. I guess it's it's interesting. I like this texture, but let's try something else. Going back to my watercolor brush pack. Ooh. Let's try another one. That kind of looks like birds, you know. Spots. More spots. I think we're going with the spots. I like the spots. So yeah, I guess just add whatever texture you like here. And then... Dark, so I'm trying out different, you know, layer settings to try and change the color and then the opacity. I feel like lighter spots work better. But I also kind of like some dark ones. Oh, that's getting messy. It's like a crime scene. Okay, let's try to move it. Yeah, let's try to move it in the back. Move it back. Also very interesting, this, this one. I feel like this stage is, is really it's up to you, whatever texture you want, <laughs> you know. And I don't know. It looks okay, I guess. I'm going to make it blend into the background a bit more, turning off the opacity. So I don't know if you noticed, but I'm moving this texture layer to the back, like below the boxes. That's our finished wallpaper. And this is the final result. So I've made two versions, one with the texture more noticeable than the other. And uh, you can download these two if you're if you want. And just go to my Patreon. You can download them for free. You're welcome. 